Hi guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today, today I've made a giant mess. But what I'm really trying to do is get a jump on the filtration for my new 150 gallon aquarium. I'm setting this up for dwarf Asian hill stream species, the little shiny stiffodons, the rhinogobius, all the really cool different little sucker loaches that come from Asia that have a really difficult requirements in some ways that they require an extremely high turnover rate and a lot of oxygen. So what I'm doing with this tank is I am doing a modified river manifold system. I've, I've taken an FX5 filter and I've hard plumbed it to one inch PVC that will run up to the top and come across with a custom one inch spray bar that I've drilled and then I'll have it run to the opposite corner where I'm going to utilize Poret foam for a corner filter for my intake. Now, what we have right now is one brace just tacked in. This is an extremely slow process because you have to wait six hours between each application. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to flip it and do the other brace and then uh, cut my egg crate, put it back up here on the stand and get to work buttoning up the PVC. So what we have here is the first glass brace measured seven inches in from the corner, just tacked at the bottom. We're going to let this sit, as I said, for about six hours and then run a bead up the inside corner. We'll then let that cure and then flip the tank onto its back in order to repeat the process with the other uh, glass brace. So this is where my tank is eventually going to be sitting and where it was sitting until earlier today. What we have in front of us is the other glass brace that will go in the, across the back in the corner. And this is the Poret foam bought from SwissTropicals.com that I'm going to use for my corner filter. The purpose of this is that it will provide a really big biological base for my filtration, as well as be a barrier for all these small fishes from getting sucked into the giant FX5 filter. No build is complete without making a few mistakes and I've already changed my mind about three times on the PVC plumbing that I've already done. Without the tank here, it doesn't make a ton of sense, but basically I had designed it to go up and over the tank and then across the bottom. And then I was going to put your more typical river manifold uh, intake strainers and foam blocks there for the suction. What I've decided to do instead is cut off this part that has all the openings and instead modify the up and down tube with holes and then this foam will go around it like this in the corner of the tank and then that way that entire section will be my suction and the benefit of this is that again it provides a lot of filtration but it also provides a more seamless and attractive filtration option uh, for a display tank the only plumbing that will be in the tank will, that will be visible is this foam and then at the top on the other short end my custom spray bar. Now this I've also changed my mind about. I'm going to keep the, the way it enters into the tank but I realized after I made it and glued it that I didn't put any way to clean it so I have to cut this off, redo it and put a screw cap in the end instead of a glued cap. Again, no project is complete without at least five mistakes. Since space is really at a premium in my fish room, we decided to use sort of an odd space to house the filter. My husband's a welder. In fact, he made me all the stands in the fish room. So he made this little platform for me. And then what we're, we did is we placed the uh, FX5 sort of barely fits in between that pillar and the ductwork. And then we modified the tubes to one inch to run between the, the chimney there and um, out to the back of the tank. Thanks for watching and check back in next week. By then the tank should be in place, the PVC buttoned up and I should be starting the hardscape.